Hi guys, welcome to another episode with The Painful Family. In true pain style, we show the raw and the real. In this episode, we leave Esperance and head to Birima Bay to check out some orcas. Then change our plans for the hundredth time and decide to gun it to Perth for warmer weather to hopefully change some of our attitudes. This is Stockton Lake and it is absolutely breathtaking. Who's back, baby? <laughs> You're going to tell everyone how moody you've been for the past couple of days? Yeah, I was going to call it quits. Like, no more fucking videoing for me. I'm oh, not videoing. Let's be honest, you wanted to call it quits on everything. Yeah, you were holiday. I was ready to go back to a house and get back to work. Because I feel like I, I'm a loser who doesn't bring anything in at the moment. So I'm done with it. Just come from? Pardon? Where did we just come Esperance. from? Aspen. Okay. Are we still are we still being a negative Nelly? Yes. Are, we gonna, are we gonna tell everyone about how negative Nelly Josh is in? I married Miss Trunchbull for Matilda. Either. You definitely <laughs> didn't marry Miss Trunchbull. I thought you did. Well go quickly, the toilet's over there. You just I went on the toilet. No. I'll take him. Come on, hurry up. Let's go. I still want to go home too. Liz, what do you think of this place? It's cool, isn't it? It's, it's cool, like your shirt. Your shirt's really cool. <laughs> Come on, then, flamingo man. Look at this statue, Ace. Yes. Look at this statue. It reminds, it reminds me of you. It looks like you. It looks like you with boobies. Who is it? It's you with boobies. No, who actually is it? Oh, I think it's uh, Ace with boobies. Stop! <laughs> Come on, let's go. Who's back, baby? <laughs> you going to tell everyone how moody you've been for the past couple of days? Yeah, I was going to call it quits. Like, no more fucking videoing for me. I'm oh, not videoing. Let's be honest, you wanted to call it quits on everything. Yeah, so you were done. holiday. I was ready to go back to a house and get back to work because I feel like I... I'm a loser who doesn't bring anything in at the moment, so I'm done with it. So it's time to call quits, you know what I can do? Fuck it. You're not even halfway. I'm fucking halfway, you know, I'm surprised I got this far, to be truthful. <laughs> so. No, we just had a bad experience at Esperance. Yeah, Esperance pulled my pants down and ran the fucking cock in my ass and said, Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? You want to go to time? So. It's pretty ridiculous. So they wanted to charge us $40 for two adults. Ten dollars per a kid, five dollars for a dog. Yeah, in overflow no, with no. no and and no that's eating. that's not including the cat. <laughs> yeah, that's not including the cat. We didn't and say. Jade, Jade, like, oh, we just don't tell anyone. We just to keep kids in the car. I'm like, Jade, there's a fucking logo on the car that says four kids, two dogs. I'm like, how are you gonna get around that? Well, I got it for sixty dollars because I said. Yeah, she felt sorry for you. Yeah, she knew that I was lying. Hang on, I think it's all that way. Yeah. No, but to charge that much with no power or water. It's just on a fucking park. On a showground. So we just, Jade, Jade said, no, I'm not doing it. And she got back in car and said, I told him no. And I went, good, because I would have said the same. I went, come on then, let's fucking go. We'll sleep somewhere else. No, but then there's signs then, everywhere then saying you're going to get later, a fine. Half an hour later, Jade's like, we're going to have to go back. I'm like, we can't go back. That's against my moral principles. We can't go back. The fuck off. And then we started getting into it, didn't we? Mm-hmm. And then the kids were kicking off because we'd promised them to go to the movies. Yeah, fucking movies at half past seven at night, which we're going to finish about, what, 9, 30, 10. I'm like, oh, I fucking don't want to do that. Yeah, but you promised beer. them for two That's days. That's my beer drinking time. Yeah, but you promised them for two days. They were so excited. You suck at holding the camera. Yeah. Well, I am holding everything fucking out. <laughs> I told you to bring your I'm lid. spilling my coffee. So we've had a few shit couple of days. And then my poor mum, we picked my mum up from the airport. Yeah, no. I she know. has to come to the laundromat, food shopping, all of that, make all the beds with us, do all of this. Then the next day we leave, have to do a five hour drive to get to Birma Bay. No, it was six hours really. Well, really six hours because we're so freaking slow. 
It was all hills, that's why. Yeah. And <laughs> and then and then it was saying to you Josh has got PTSD need... from the um Nullumbore, so as soon as he sees a straight road, he just fucking becomes negative Nelly straight away <laughs> <laughs> and has like Tourette's <laughs> and he's like I fucking can't do this anymore it's and boring <laughs> I'm fucking over it I'm just sat in a car he won't let constantly. me drive because he doesn't want to be sandwiched between my mum and me why the fuck do I want to sit next to your mum <laughs> it's fucking weird man I wouldn't be like I don't even like sitting next close to my mum never mind yours <laughs> so it's been a bit of a, a shit few days I don't like people touching me but um positive is is that we I'm well, Josh isn't because the boys aren't old enough. We're hopefully, me, my mum and the girls are going to kill, go see the killer whales, yeah, the orcas. In a few days. On Wednesday. So hopefully it's the last day of the season. Hopefully we have some luck and we find some. Nah, you good luck with that. Because I'm going to be pretty disappointed and upset if we don't because. Yeah, but you'll see something like a whale. $400 sure. per an adult. <laughs> yeah, I was like, because Jade's got concession cards. I'm like, can you not use a concession card? Does that not work? <laughs> Not if that child doesn't come. But yeah, so we're going to try and turn it around. We talked last night. Turn it around? It's fucking not turned around yet, darling. Yeah, you said you're going to have a better attitude today. Yeah, I'll have a better attitude. I'm just, I'm just, uh, what's it called? I'm just fucking burnt out and overdriving. Burnt out and overdriving. Burnt out and overdriving. Yeah, now we're not. We're just going to be driving. Same to Jade. Is this all we've been doing is just fucking driving for the past fucking month? We've been driving, driving, driving. I'm like, we're not even in. That, the, the, the last place was that beach spot, and that was nice. And then we just went straight back to driving again. Yeah, well, we just, because I have work today, and because we were, the last day of Killer Whales were Wednesday, originally the plan was we, we would take, we'd stock at Quaggy Beach, and we'd stop at another beach camp. Mm. But because I've got work today and then Wednesday, I uh, work tomorrow, and then Wednesday morning was the last day that they're doing the killer whales, we had to get here. Yeah. So we had to drive. But and now, then, no, no, we have to get to Exmo in no, a month as well, which is going to be a pain in the ass. Yeah, but we can do that a bit, a bit slower. Yeah. We'll do like two hours stay a couple of days and another two hours stay a couple of days and do it like that i've got to admit though being in the car with an extra adult is an extra squeeze every <laughs> fucking seat's full the dogs are like oh we want to sit on your laps move <laughs> over it's, it's, it is frustrating and then guess what i woke up to lotus me sharing one of our photos me. from let's go caravaning and expo caravaning and camping but don't tag us because they've blocked us. Yeah, oh, you? mate, was I pissed off this morning? Yeah, man, Jay's like, can you believe they, they took out a photo? I'm like, Jay, I don't care. I'm not, I, don't really I care. care. You can't take $1,000 of us, block us, no, I want my and money then go, back. now I'm going to share your photo because it's gonna, really nice. If you're going to do that, you can give me my fucking money back. Yeah, give us our money back, and then shake hands and be like, listen, things got out of hand, let's just move on. And happy days. I don't, I don't even need a shaking hand. I'm like, just give me a money back. Yeah. You can share whatever you fuck you want. Yeah. Just don't rob from me and then And then rub fucking some share our photo. <laughs> Knobs. So. But yeah, so we didn't get anything of Esprim because Esprim can suck my dick. I, I got such a dirty taste in my mouth. Not, nothing to do with Esprim at all. The fucking council in the Shay, I mean, we were supposed to stay at a farm stair. Then they closed them sh down. They shut them down because they wanted a piece of the cake and they said no, pretty much. Yeah, but they weren't even getting a piece of cake for $10 a night. They were lovely people, though. They were. They? And she was so nice. She was so gutted. She had an olive garden set up, didn't she? Yeah, and she felt so bad. And, and then that, like, that made us feel even and worse. Honest to God, we got there because we already rang ahead the day before. And she's got the softest soothing, it's like soothing boys. Sorry guys, you can't stay here. The council have shut me down. I'm so very sorry. And I'm they're like, coming right, back on Sunday to check that yeah. no I'm one's like, here. All right, love them. Well, I'm going to go try and find somewhere else you'd like. And then she just started telling me a live story and being like, let me meet your children. Can I speak to you? Can I pat all your dogs? I'm like, love, we've not got long. We've got to try and find somewhere. <laughs> We're going to go and get ripped off at the caravan overflow. We've got to go. <laughs> that was pretty fucked. <laughs> But yeah, she was nice, all, wasn't she? But then I did say, I did fib and say, we only have three kids and one's four, so we only paid $60. Yeah. But still. Did, how the fuck you got away with that when there's a big sign on the side of the truck? <laughs> I don't fucking know. It was a, a younger girl, and she honestly was like, I'm a backpacker. These mm. prices are... Ridiculous. They shouldn't be like this, so um, I don't care. 
I was and like, then, oh, sweet. Then, and then when uh, I had to go and add the other night to the manager, it was already logged in. So she's like, just one more night. So she just went, yep, sweet, cool. Yeah, they were English. They're trying to let's be proper. Um, they love Josh. Oh, but it's I bet, nuts. I I bet if she was there and you were there. She probably would have let me stay for free. She probably would have been like, come for free. Yeah. But do you, and I, I love I chat with anyone. I love a, I love a waffle with anyone. But I just find I don't like that English mentality where they're like, we all got to stick together. We're from the fit, no, we're not. If we met each other and you were from London, and I were from Manchester, and we bumped in, it'd be on. They won't want no do you? They'd be like, fucking dickhead, you know. And then when you come over here, they're like, we all got band together. It's like, no, 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 we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> No, we fucking don't. You're going to get some hate for that. I don't care. <laughs> it drives me nuts. I don't mind everyone I'm in a chat with me, but when they start talking about, I miss this about that, and I miss it. And they, this con that country doesn't even compare to this country. It pisses me off. I've been here since I was 13. I went to school here. I'm Australian. I'm not English. I just don't sound like it. Yeah. Well, you, actually, you've lived here longer than you've lived in the UK. I know I have. So. So that makes me Australian officially. Thank you. I don't think we're going to make it to the beach. No, probably not. I mean, I'm getting tired holding this stupid camera up. You wanted to do yeah, it now. You can get it. I'm too tired for this shit. Okay. Bye. Chris. You're the professional Michelle was Archie. Oh, that's you out already. I remember you were taught how to surf. Good, good. Oh, you got it in. <laughs> I don't know how this this will actually look. Are you look, not eating your food? I am. I'm coming back. Everybody looks pretty chilled out there in the fire, eh, Lil? We are not chilled out. Lil's got a 15 year old boyfriend, mm -hmm. aren't you, Lil? I'm really happy. So Lily has found a 15 year old boy on the campsite, and then I said no, but Jade was like, you got to let them grow up at one point. They're just going over the world and looking at the stars together. He's 15, she's nearly 13. And now we can't find her. Mm. Good parenting, Jade. Oh, Dad's talking on the... So, no. Just shut up. Give me the torch. <laughs> Give me the torch. Give me the torch. Well, we found her. Why? And she, I think she may have had a first kiss. I think she had a first kiss, Jade. She's going to murder you. Yeah. She will murder you. <laughs> <laughs> so do you reckon she's had a first kiss on the start? Can you not put it in my face like that? Like, yeah. Do you reckon she had a first You were freaking out at one point, don't you? I don't lie. I, like, I wasn't freaking out. I you just... were. You were. I was like, oh, there she goes. going to come back and she's going to be pregnant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You were giving my first year. Not all people are fucked up like you. Yeah, you just trying to give her away. You're like, just tack her. Don't bring no, her back. I wasn't. I was letting her have a little bit of freedom. Yeah, she freedom. is Fucking nearly 13 15. years old. He's 15. There's a big difference to a boy's mentality to a girl's mentality. Yeah, Josh. A boy at 15, he's like. Josh, you're fucking drunk. Fuck off. I don't. Yes. Early one today. And then we're going to go see some killer whales, hopefully. Cider girls? Cider mums? Oh, yeah. He's hoping we don't throw up. Big wave, big wave! Hey, Lil. Yeah. Hopefully no seasick. No. Fingers crossed no seasick today. Very, I don't get seasick unless I see vomit. <laughs> no vomiting on us this time, Lily. Yeah, you're in that.
Check this place out if you do come into the area, spot on, honestly. Beer's great. Ask me my glasses, darling. There's your food, Jade, after your traumatizing day. I haven't eaten all day, and the breakfast I did eat, I left in yeah. the marina. Mm -hmm. Right. That? So, would you highly recommend doing it? Mm -mm. Not without the tablets that don't go up. Mm -hmm. if you're I, not I didn't get. I didn't even get to see them because I was too sick. I slept three times. I puked ten times. I we were literally just laid on the floor of the anything. boat all vomiting. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you guys eating the Nana didn't even get sick. Mm. Nana, Nana's like an infinite. Yeah, your Nana just, she can handle it. She's a pro. Mm. Not like you guys. Okay. Shut up. Just, if you weren't there, you'd probably cry like a big baby. It, but I don't get sick on the water. Yeah. It, just, it just blows me away that you were brought up on a boat. Steve used to get sick. Yeah, I know. I never, I never oh, understood I that with Jade. I used to always say to Jade. Hey guys, I'm just going to show you around the place that we've been playing on. So, we've been rolling these down the hills for about uh, three to two days. Playing on the jumping castle. And further down there's a tennis court and a basketball court. And yeah, and my sister got a boyfriend around here, so. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when Layla farts. Hey Layla. <laughs> what happens when you're turning from here? Everybody's having a good time. Hey, it's telegram about your good time. Hey, it's telegram. You're having a ball. Archie, you having fun in the car? Yeah. Look, will his feet stink? Ah, uh, yes, you having a good time. Show me, my, show me your binoculars. Don't think I've ever seen anything so bloody blue. Holy moly. Looks really beautiful. Right. Now for the real test. No, it's not actually cold. How good is that? It's actually warm. That's beautiful. Something else, I tell you that, I've never seen anything so turquoise. I might actually go for a swim. This is Stockton Lake. Located 7 k's east of Collie Township, Stockton Lake is a great spot to camp and enjoy a wide variety of water sports. 
It was originally an open cut mine, which is now filled with water to form an artificial lake. Visitors will find a large open area with many trees, which provides some welcome shade on those long, hot days in summer. The campground has accessible toilets and although there are no designated individual campsite, it does have the ability to offer group, family and individual camping. Costs are $15 per an adult, $5 for children and concessions are $10 a night. The ranger comes and collects the fees daily. Well, this is camp. We've got here late in the arbor. So we've got Michelle's accommodation up here. She refused me going in. She said she's going to do it. So I was happy with that. A few trees blocking the view, but who gives a shit? We're rocking and rolling. Hey guys. Hey guys. I just went in the water. And it's warm. The water's warm. This is Michelle's weekly getaway bag. I thought she was staying with us for three months when she came, but no, apparently that's just like five days of clothes for Michelle. Right in my what do you think of this place, Joe? It's gorgeous. I what found it. Well, you found it. <laughs> you don't find it. I drove here. <laughs> I drove here. Do you know what's really nice? I like that you get like a free, free rug in the water. What do you reckon, dude? Do you reckon we could salvage that and make it our rug in our caravan? What do you think, Kit Tank? Is it comfy? Hey, ducks. Ducks. This has got a bit of bread for you. Go get him, Ted. Go get that. Go get that, dog. Hello. Right. Go on, keep your hand there. Put it closer to them. Ted! Are you running away? Yeah, because yeah, I'm coming up, that's why. Here, yeah. give me the big piece of bread. Here you go. A big piece. Right now, hold it in your hand. Ah, I love you. You say, I'm not going to hurt you, dog. <laughs> I'm not going to hurt you, dog. Nope, see, hold it close to your hand, Todd. They'll come. Throw them all out. Throw them all out, Dad. Okay. That's too close, Dad. No, it's fine, look. Maybe they might come. Yeah, them dogs are barking. Oh, it did bite me. They didn't have to hurt because I had no teeth. We got beaks. So, Dad, what was your idea? What? Dad's idea was to um, blow up the rings, weren't you? Well, perfect water for it, isn't it? Yeah, no, it's still as. But it will be a bit moving because of the wind. <laughs> his cat litter tray is better. That means Sammy gives us a warning when his cat litter tray is full. <laughs> no, you will not. Thanks guys for watching, we hope you enjoy. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.